All right, uh, welcome everyone to the Coach's Desk. I'm your host, Coach Minzy, and we are here another day, people. Another moment, giving you another video, right? And uh, before we get into it, top of the morning to everyone, trusting that everybody's doing well and everybody is doing all right. Big up yourself, people. Thanks for supporting the channel. Um, it has been an amazing journey throughout this year. Trust me, this year was off the chain, yeah? And we want to enter into the new year with a good feeling, feeling of gratitude. You know what I mean? So big up yourself. Now, you deserve a big round of applause. Big up yourself. All my subscribers, that's for you. Also, that is for the erudites, the persons who would have, you know, subscribe to the membership aspect of the coaches that's really appreciate that so what we want to talk about today people yeah the decision <laughs> yeah man as veteran sports or football administrator carvel stewart yeah let me put him on the screen yeah man carvel stewart and um what you'd call uh, the name of Herman Krushank. You know, they are quite perturbed right now at the fact that the Jamaica Football Federation is taking too long to act on the recommendation of the Technical Committee for the National Senior Men's Team Head Coach Theodore Tapa Whitmore. So, evidently, people, we are not the only one asking questions. Other top brass in the footballing world, they're asking what really is happening. You know what I mean? So it, it, it goes to show how interested the people are in the football, the whole operation of the football in Jamaica. And it is a sore point because it, it, it's close to a month now that this um, recommendation was made. So it, 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 it's either of, either of two things. You, you either reject the recommendation or... You go ahead with the recommendation. I don't know what is taking so long, but what, what, what we have heard is that, you know, <laughs> it's it's difficult to find someone in the job. So what that tells me, it is leaning towards uh, ratifying the recommendation that was made by the technical committee. You know what I mean? So um, we don't know. Is it a case where, as we were speaking about the other night on the uh, triple treat, that there could be negotiation issues where the finalization of the payment is concerned. Uh, that could be one of the issues. Could be people. Could be also we're hearing a lot of uh, other things, a lot of interferences. But, you know, we don't want to put these things out because, <clears throat> excuse me, we're not too certain if these are true. These are uh, rumors that I've been here going around. You know what I mean? Um. Even though the reggae boys last two games were 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 quote unquote positive, but positive in it in the cell in the sense that they did not lose. Uh, but negative is that we wanted more points from that. Nevertheless, it was a good um team effort. You could you could see the the the, the gelling of the team and all of that. They're kind of playing uh, a little bit better. You know, you know what I, you know what I mean. But um, the, the JV board was scheduled to meet um, to decide with more status after those results. But no word has been forthcoming by the Federation. They did say that they are not going to rush in making the decision. That's what I know. So, I mean, we knew that that, that wasn't going to be a rush decision because, you know, a lot of people... <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> Anyways, um, Stuart, the veteran, Arborview man, and he was former um chairman of the PLCA. Um, Stuart is now calling for an announcement. You know what I mean? But for Whitmore to be declared head coach until the end of the qualifiers. So, this man, Carvel Stuart, is saying. He is not, Stuart is not only calling for an announcement, people. 
But he's saying because this thing has been drawn out so long, Theodore Whitmore should be declared head coach until the end of the qualifiers. Yeah, because this, uh, this thing has been going on for too long. You know what I mean? And b because it seems so indecisive, uh, we heard that they can't get a, a, a suitable replacement. Then why, why not allow him to um, re remain? And this is what um, Carvel Stewart is saying, the veteran um, football administrator. And, and this, th these are his words. I do not think it should be only announced, he said. I think they should announce that, the, that he's con continuing until the end of the campaign because anything else, and we are back where we started with the axe over his head. And that this axe is about to drop. <laughs> if you want the man to work freely without any concern, just come out and say he is the coach for the entirety of this campaign and done. Simple Carvel. If he is in place, we are going to defeat Central uh, American countries. And if it is the same Mexican team that defeated us in the 89th minute in September, we are going to beat them too. I am confident that uh, with Tapa, we will win those three games. Without him, I do not think we will get those solid results. Krushank uh, says the Jeff should be handling um, the matter better. And that the uncertainty and insults they are subjected the coach to is distasteful. Yeah, so if them just come out and, and make mention of the decision, then I mean, I'm not too much in the disrespect and the insults. You know what I mean? Everybody know that. I mean, I'm in a giant. That. Yeah? So it, it's distasteful if you ask me. And these are the things that um, the coach is facing. So the powers that be should just come out and make the decision. Or announce the decision and stop all up the thing. Now, Crew Shank is saying whether Whitmore goes or stays, the level of uncertainty and disrespect he has faced is not good. He said it affects him, his family, and his performance. So they are not dealing with it professionally. Calling out the JFF, you know, man, I call out the JFF. Uh, it seems as if the organization is divided on whether Whitmore stays or he goes, but the JFF has uh, to handle it better to send a better signal down the road because it does not spell good for people who want to be associated with the organization. They may be skeptical to be involved with them. So, <laughs> it is said, people, that there is a divide within the um, board on the decision where Whitmore is concerned. Yeah? There is a divide. Hence the reason the decision has been, uh, you know what I mean? postponed or delayed for th for so long and it, it should be sorted out man it should be sorted out um crew shank creek shank um said that um he, he shared the same sentiments as toward whitmore is the best man to see out of the campaign says that the delay in announcing the fate of the coach is an indication he will remain in the post for the remainder of the qualifiers so you need your people the delay <laughs> Subsequent to a report earlier this week, you know, that <laughs> by the end of this week, you'd be hearing a decision, and the decision is not a good decision. But these men are saying that the best decision is to keep the coach. I do not think they have uh, much option, so they are delaying the process, he said. I know people out there want to take the chance with the uh, team, but they. JFF should make a decision to level the uncertainty. I do not think they want to move him now. So I think he can he will carry on. But if you are going to let him stay, say it. And if you are going to fire him, fire him. It is as simple as that, you know. <laughs> it is as simple as that. And you know, persons try to contact um JFF Gen Gensec um Dalton Wilt, and he was very evasive of the matter, you know. Any updates regarding that, he's very is evasive. Yeah? What he's saying is that Mr. Whitmore is still the coach. Tapa is still the coach. Yeah? Until an announcement is made, he is the coach, he said. Is that telling you something, people? No. Seriously. 
where, where are the deductive reasoning? Mr. Whitmore is still the coach until 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 the announcement is made. Hmm. Is, is there anything appalling in that? Interesting. Very, 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 very interesting. But we will also wait and see. And to me, to me, like like Mr. Stewart and, and Krushank, it might be delaying to ensure that Mr. Whitmore stays in the position. They said they weren't going to be rushed in making this decision. Therefore, therefore, I believe, like these men, that we might see a situation where they can't find any coach unless the negotiation is what is holding up the process. The payoff negotiation. Mm -hmm. Probably, possibly. But let's see how that one goes, people. I, I want you to share your comments down below in the comment section. This is the end of uh, this one. Carvel Stewart, veteran sports administrator, football administrator, is saying, make the announcement. And with the announcement, keep Theodore Whitmore. Yeah, understand? People, what say you? Thanks very much for tuning into the show. We really appreciate you being here, taking a look on this video. Big up yourself. And as we normally say, stay safe. Until next time, peace.